Good morning, everyone. <laughs> and welcome to a day in the life of a ballet dancer on a performance day. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in like a few minutes. <laughs> Is it really even a Tristan Simpson video if I don't make my iced coffee? Okay, I have my coffee because I could not talk to the camera at 7.30 in the morning and explain everything before I coffee like I know it. That sounds so like millennial, like coffee first, but really y'all like that's too early to like have a full on speech. So I'm just gonna kind of explain what's going on today while I get ready. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a day in the life of a professional ballet dancer, but on a performance day. You know, because of Corona, I haven't really performed a lot this year, but I want to show you guys what a performance day is like. Like, that's like kind of the exciting part about my job, right? Oh, and if you're new, my name is Tristan, and I'm a professional dancer with the Stuttgart Ballet here in Germany. So I think a big misconception is that people think for like performers, ballet dancers, whoever like does performances, I think people think we have like the entire day off and we get to like prepare for the performance. Like, no girl, we got a normal day of work and then also the performance at night. Of course we end a little earlier because the performance doesn't end until super late and then we don't get home, like work hours, stuff like that. But we have work this morning. Like girl, I got class, I got rehearsals. I mean, my day is really easy. I only have one rehearsal, but I'll take you guys along for my entire day. I'm gonna show you guys like what it looks like getting ready for the performance, putting on makeup, that fun stuff. So the performance that I'm doing tonight is called Bolero. It's Beige Arts Bolero. You guys can literally go look up Beige Art Bolero. And there's definitely a video of it that you guys can go watch. It's to amazing music. There's this huge table in the middle with this principal, male or female, on it. And then it's just like a bunch of like shirtless guys. Like super good. The choreography is super simple. It's not super stressful. And that's why I decided to film like this because it's a little less intense. So I feel like I can film like beforehand and stuff versus like when I'm doing something that's a little more stressful, I don't really wanna like record, you know what I mean? I just wanna like focus on myself. Of course it's so important though, it's a performance. Like of course I wanna do my best, but it's a little less stressful. Also guys, I just wanna say this, feeling super insecure about my skin. That's such a hard thing about doing social media is like, I'm already insecure just like going to work around people I'm comfortable with, with like, a little bit of like hormonal acne, like that already makes me uncomfortable and insecure, let alone making a YouTube video for the internet where like tens of thousands of people see it. Like it's not fun, y'all. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Of course I'm running late like I am in every vlog, so I'll see you in a bit. So look the other way. Been waiting here forever. It's getting so ready for the performance tonight. We're doing it together. Bolero, shirtless. That's why we're in the gym. Yeah, we're, I'm just doing a quick little workout. Nothing much, because long day. I don't want to like, not that long of a day, but I don't want to tire myself out, but a little something so when I'm shirtless, it's like a little less twinky. I just had a rehearsal, you guys saw me like marking it and rehearsing it before I actually had the rehearsal, but basically I'm doing a performance like, I mean by the time this video goes up I'll have done the performance. I got thrown into something really last minute, so it's been pretty stressful, I'm not gonna lie, and it's very contemporary, which I just haven't done in a little bit, you know, at John Cranko we didn't do so much, so stress level 
high. But that's the life of a ballet dancer, I guess. And um, But it's a really great opportunity and it's only like three of us dancing on stage. It's with two amazing dancers. So it's a good opportunity, but with that comes a lot of like uh, anxiety and risk, I guess. I had a good rehearsal for that. That was only my third rehearsal and I did it all the way through with mistakes, lots of them, but it's okay. Um, we worked it out and next rehearsal, I hope to feel more comfortable doing it. So now it is 3.47 and the show starts at seven and I have to get flowers for the first two pieces and then I have my piece that I actually dance. For now, um, I need to take a shower because I'm sweaty and gross. I also need to cook. Okay, y'all, so whenever I go on stage, I like to eat, like, something decently healthy before because the worst feeling is going on stage, like, bloated or just, like, kind of feeling off, you know what I mean? So today, you guys are going to cook with me, and we're doing a HelloFresh meal. So I'm so excited to tell you guys that today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So if y'all don't already know what HelloFresh is, is basically a meal kit that gets delivered to your doorstep with seasonal and fresh ingredients that are already pre-measured. It is so easy, so simple, and cuts so much time out of the whole like buying all this stuff measuring it it just shortens the whole process and most of them you can do within like 30 minutes and some of them even 20 minutes there are so many recipes to choose from which I love because I always like cooking something new and getting experimental in the kitchen so I got three different ones in this box I got sweet potato cocoa soup some Spanish potatoes and then I got a vegan donor like sandwich which is so cool. So I'll decide which one I'm gonna cook in a little bit. I love that you don't waste any food because it's already all pre-measured and the packaging that it comes in is possibly already recycled materials and you can always recycle all this stuff that comes in, which is amazing. And also whenever you're getting a box, you can change the date of delivery, which is really great because obviously it's food and you don't want it to go bad. So they make it super easy. And you guys know that I like to work with brands that are ethical. They donated 4 million meals in 2020 alone and they are continuing to do this throughout Corona. Okay y'all, so here's the box with all the ingredients in it. And I think I'm gonna make the donor, the vegan donor because I mean, come on. It's like a Germany staple. I mean, it's not German, but it's a Germany staple. I feel like I gotta do it, and it looks so delicious. Okay, y'all, I'm finished. It's always so fun and easy to make these. It's just like, the fun part of cooking, but the stressful part is taken out of it. So I'm so excited to try this. This looks so freaking good. Ten out of ten. Period. That's all. <laughs> so of course I have a deal for you guys. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Tristan Simpson 14 to get 14 free meals plus shipping. So once again, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and let's continue with getting ready for the performance. Okay guys, I am ready to go to the theater right now. I'm just in like super comfy clothes because yeah, there's no need to go in anything fancy. Let's go to the theater and let's go perform. <laughs> First costume of the night. <laughs> okay guys, so finished giving flowers. Good job guys. Go Thank team. You. Thank you. So now I need to go get my hair done and then I'll do my makeup. Time to do our makeup. You already started. Time to cover up our Acne, TBT to that one comment on my YouTube video. I'll put it up on the screen, maybe I won't, but basically this person was like, is there an acne outbreak in Stuttgart? Like, are That's you- kinda true. But like, are you dumb? Like, do you not know acne doesn't spread like that? Ugh, it's just annoying, like, if people only knew, like, how insecure it makes you. What? Like, Having... skin problems. Oh. And then like for you. someone to comment on it, it's like- Yeah, it's kinda mean. Yeah. And it was obviously like an old person. Old people are the meanest people on the internet. Who, by the way, doesn't even have a picture. Yeah, right? I know, let's see you. 
<laughs> and I already know I'm gonna get a million comments. Well, how about you try this? Why am I? Like, I don't need your suggestions. I've tried everything, girl. I need antibiotics. So let's tell the German uh, doctor that I need antibiotics. Did your acne touch this? I might get it even more. <laughs> because, you know, acne spreads like that, apparently. <laughs> so stage makeup, let's talk about it. It's different than normal makeup. It's not your average Kylie Jenner YouTube tutorial, you know what I mean? So some of you might be like, whoa, that looks crazy. But like, it's because the stage lights, they, they wash you out. It has to be very powdery. Uh, the contour has to be very intense. That's not how you apply contour. Shut up. Oh my God. I already had so many pimples that like, I don't even need contour in here. <laughs> Thumbnail. I need to get a nipple out for more views. Okay, I'm done. This is the look, I hope you like it. So today I'm using this Krylon Professional Makeup TV Paint Stick. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? This is the costume. It's literally just black jeans and a jazz shoe. I love a jazz shoe. Uh -huh. Jazz shoes remind me of my childhood. Work. Okay, performance is over and I'm back home. If the show is on like a Saturday or we have the next day off, usually we'll like go celebrate, have a drink, like, you know, whatever. But it's a Thursday and we have work tomorrow. My skin really does not agree with makeup, so it's really important for me to take off my makeup correctly. Most people use like makeup wipes, which I refuse to use. I will not use a makeup wipe. We have a full double cleanse system going on. The first one I'm gonna be using is the Charisma Skincare Deep Cleansing Facial Oil. This is not an ad, but I am in love with this whole collection. I love taking my makeup off with this because it's like an oil-based, so it gets rid of the makeup really easily. And also, when I'm double cleansing, I don't want to use two cleansers that are gonna kind of dry my skin. And this one is oily, so it also moisturizes my face while it cleanses. I just like to go in with a second. I'm using Cetaphil, basic, does the job, nothing extra, love this. And I'm gonna do this in the shower, so I'll see y'all after. Okay guys, I finished my skincare, and now it's time for dinner. Just having some leftovers that I made. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I never watch Netflix, honestly. I'm more of like a YouTube, TikTok person, but I feel like I need to like, take my mind off of things. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this more like behind the scenes of a performance day video, you know? I'll show you guys a lot of like my normal days, but it's, you know, now that things are going back to normal, it was super exciting showing you guys kind of like a, a different day in the life of a ballet dancer, you know what I mean? Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go comment. I will see you guys next week. I love you guys and ciao.